How to greet French people. As far as social norms in France go, the most important you should know is how to greet French people. The French have a lot of different ways to say hello, so it's not easy to navigate between the customs. 1. Vises slash kisses on the cheek. The traditional kisses on the cheek is a very important greeting in France, but there are certain rules for it. Normally, it only happens with women, children, and men who are very close friends. Let a French person initiate the bises if you're uncertain whether it's appropriate or not. Usually, there are only two bises given, but in certain regions of France it can be up to four. 2. Handshake When you meet a person for the first time, greet them with a handshake. Only after a second meeting switch to a more relaxed greeting. 3. Always say bonjour. Bonjour means good day and it's the most common way to say hello in French. Whether you're meeting a friend or walking into a shop, bonjour will always work well in French etiquette. Should you bring wine to a dinner party in France? While bringing a bottle of wine to a dinner party in the U.S. is a thoughtful and polite gesture, it may not be in France. French dinner party hosts may think that you judge their hosting or wine serving abilities. They could think that you're bringing a wine to drink for yourself because the wine your host chose would suit you. While this French social norm isn't as serious as it may seem, it's best to avoid offending the person who invited you to their home. Are the French always late? While in the US and the UK there's a culture of arriving early, the French social norm is the exact opposite. French hosts need an extra 10-15 minutes to set up the table or fix their makeup before guests arrive. Arriving early or even on time shows that you expect to be entertained promptly. That's why French people are always late. If everyone's late, nobody is. It's best to be fashionably late to dinner parties in France. What do French kids eat? French food is exquisite, and even the kids know this. There's no kid's menu in France. While American children opt for chicken nuggets and French fries, French children eat the same kinds of food their parents do. You can eat a baked on the street. Speaking of eating, a very strange and unique social norm in France is that you can't eat food on the street. While this part of French culture is fading away with the popularity of food trucks, it's still important today. Wedding bells and honking horns in French tradition. When a couple gets married, there are a lot of cultural traditions to follow, and the French have their own unique traditions to add to weddings. On the way from the church to the reception, the entire wedding party honks their car horns as a French tradition. This makes for a very loud celebration. The French tradition of getting slapped in the face with a fish. The French have a tradition where you get slapped in the face with a wish. Carnivals are grand celebrations across France that date back hundreds of years. They signify the coming of spring harvest and having a good time. And of course, they all have their unique French traditions in every region. Celebrating French wine is a French tradition. French wine is exquisite, but there's one grape that deserves a special celebration in France. On the third Thursday of November, the production of this wine ends, and it finally arrives in stores. It's a French custom to rush to supermarkets, the French custom of ugly hats. While French fashion is a very important part of French culture, there's one holiday where French clothes aren't exactly aesthetic. On November 25th, French customs celebrate Catherine's Day. It's customary to pray for husband for unwed women over 25. This she April's Fool Customs in France. April's Fools is a day for pranks and jokes. In French customs, fish are the ultimate topic of comedy. That's why this day's called April Fish in French. Some French traditions call for people to stick paper fish on the back of unsuspecting family members, friends, or even strangers. Unlucky in French superstition, it would be unwise to leave a list of French customs and traditions with only 13. That's because 13 is an unlucky number in French superstition. Seating 13 guests at a table is a great faux pas, just like there were 13 people around the table at the last dinner with Jesus and the 12 apostles. Judas betrayed Jesus, so 13 is an unlucky number.